Hey everyone, 3 plus 0, no increment, just 3 minutes on the clock, let's try to beat some people up. Let's go. Alright, d4. c4, queen's gambit, knight to f3, knight to c3, uh, bishop there. Time to take. Um, interesting move. Oh, I guess I have to play like a3 because otherwise my a2 pawn's hanging. Okay. Okay, I'll just put bishop d2, reinforcing my knight here, and castle. Um, okay, you've put your queen where it's a target, so I can make use of that. And in fact, this just almost traps your queen. Not quite, but almost. Um, and now how do I, um, maintain this momentum? I play, can I play like h4, h5? I don't think so. And I can't move my bishop because my knight hangs, obviously. Uh, let's, I don't have any increment either, so I have to play quickly, relatively. Bishop to a2, let's go. Bishop b1. Oh, bishop to a2 is no longer possible. That's an idiotic move by me. Um, um, let's see. Queen here. Going after the a7 pawn, okay. Oh, come on, checkmate. Seriously, don't blunder checkmate when you're 12, 1200. Come on, that's that's lame. Time pressure does that to people. All right, let's go again. That's seriously bad. All right, let's go d4. What is this person doing? Literally, what are they doing? Are they on tilt or what? Um, I'll just go here, take here, probably going to trade because of the way they've been playing so far. I can guess how they're going to play, which is not a good thing. Um, okay, so let's see, how do we maximize our advantage? Probably with something like queen to b3 or something, but I feel like I want to do this first. And now probably a4 or something. Queen to b3 and a4 or something. That's a stupid blunder of a pawn. Um, but which should I take with? Okay, obviously you can't take with, um, I don't know what that move is, that just, um, now I wish I could play this move, but that pawn's there. Now if I play rook here, then the rook is gone, so that's a stupid move to play. <laughs> um, okay. Um. Let's just trade queens because I'm up a pawn. Oh, ah, I had a better move. I had a better move. Okay. Well, now now we can play it. Oh, the pawn. Oh, my. That's so idiotic of me. Oh, that's idiotic of me. 
Okay, now let's at least try to get this in. No? Okay. Now I'm just down like a piece, like clean, like no, like no compensation whatsoever except one pawn, which is not compensation for one piece. Okay, so let's actually try to activate our knights here. This dude's just moving his bishops back and forth. Uh, king to d2, probably. Rook b1, maybe. Okay, we want to go b4. Oh, come on. Stop this. Okay, we got him. We got him back. There we go. Oh, wait, no, I just uh, hung everything again. Check probably. Okay. Not night there, check, I guess. Okay, let's just go there. Um, let's push that as well. I have no moves other than this, so I'm just going to move my rook back and forth. Honestly, should I just resign? Yeah, I'll just resign. Okay. Uh, new game. This time we're going to win, okay? Sorry, decline. Bro, no. It keeps asking me for a rematch. And it's evident that I'm not rematching. There's isn't there like a D four a D five kind of situation in this in this opening? I'm not sure. I think there is. I'm just going to play it. I don't know what this Queen D three thing is. Okay, I guess we play queen here, defending our f7 pawn. And bishop here, defending that. Castle, b6, bishop b7. Seems straightforward enough. Okay, we got a castle. It's the only move. Okay, now we're trying to trade off the knight. All right. Okay, h6, bishop takes knight. Okay, no. All right. Let's go in for this kind of idea that we had. Oh, but is there like f4 and then bishop takes? Yeah, I don't like that too much. Okay, let's go knight d1, uh, knight d8, and knight d6 here to defend our f7 pawn and also to. All right. Um, oh wow, my queen's almost trapped, which is ridiculous, because it's in the middle of the board. Oh wait, but can I just play knight to d6 here? No, I don't want to do that. Oh wait, but then that just runs into that. What am I, what am I even doing? What am I even doing? No, we're not playing a game like that. We're playing a better game than that. d5? Uh, c5? I don't know. Let's just go knight, c, knight f6 here. Uh, now c5 seems good. And you just um, try to play e6, win back the pawn. Oh, I'm stupid. Okay, so I think we can play this. And uh, what's the other move? 
how do you defend this? Mm, I don't remember. Oh, you can play this. Nice. Wait, are we actually winning? I didn't realize we're winning. I think we're winning. Oh, wait, the queen just takes. Okay, wait, never mind. Just stupid. Okay, a bishop takes here, queen takes there. Which one's better? Bishop is better, right? I take with the queen. Because I want to offer a queen trade, because this person's very aggressive. That was weird. Um. Okay, let's just go a6. Oh, that's also weird. Why would you go there? Okay. Now we're lining up our bishops. And now let's go a5, bishop to e7 and castle. Thank you for that rook. That was weird. Um, bishop here probably to get control of this nice diagonal. Okay, this person's just on tilt. I don't know what they're doing. <coughs> all right. Now we're just going to push this pawn all the way and then play bishop there. That's the idea. Or we can just take here and get in with the rook to play bishop takes here. Okay, they're just losing every piece they have. Okay, let's try to checkmate them here, if possible. And now, the bossest move of all time. Oh wait, no, you can't castle here. In fact, I don't have any moves with my king that are not... Okay, they're just resigning. Dang it, it was so cool, I was going to... I was going to play king d8 and king c7 and then rook to a8 checkmate. Or, I mean, after the bishop's hacked itself. That would have been funny. Okay, let's look at our accuracy that time. Don't know if it was that high, but we'll see. 89.9. Okay, 90% accuracy is good to me. Is good to me. Um, my opponent made only two blunders, huh? They lost every piece they had. They, ha they lost every piece they had. Okay, so taking with the bishop was better here. Um, but, okay. And then a5 was best. Okay, that's good. Okay, and then they lost their that. And then they, and then they just um, hung every piece they had. Like, uh, like, you should see this tactic. There's mate in seven. Oh, that's a missed win. Sorry, sorry, computer. Oh yeah, but this seems kind of obvious, because all these squares are taken up. Um, so this actually forces the king to go to this only this only square. So if I play this, then the only move is that, right? And then after that, now let me see. Now I think it's probably bishop takes here or something to defend the pawn. No, it's not? Okay. What is it? King d7? King d... Oh, wow. You want the king to come to guard the pawn. Okay. And then what's the bishop h3 check? King to e7 now? King c7 now? Okay. Uh, rook d1. Bishop takes d1. Bishop f4. Bishop takes f4. G takes f4. Rook b8. Where There's no rook. Oh, wait, it's my turn. Okay, wait, never mind. It's rook b8. My turn. Rook b8. Um, e3. E3. Nice. And mate. Wow. How does anyone ever, ever see that? And also, how does anyone ever play rook d1 defending? 
That is not a thing that a human plays. Alright. Shut up, computer. Thank you very much for your feedback. And since we won this game and lost like four games before this, I'm just going to say, uh, let's just call it a day, uh, call it a video, and um, so that we can end on a sweet note. Bye-bye.